I'm back. Um, I just wanted to show you guys um, how to clean your brushes. Um, first, I want to show you this candle, how cute it is I bought. It's a Krispy Kreme candle. And it smells just like the donut. Isn't it cute? And then, let me just put the radio back. I'm always so disorganized. I still have the hair mask on my hair. I used the hair mask from um, the birch box. Um, let me see, it's in here. Uh, you see, I got the birch box and the, um, this hair mask came in it. And it smells so yummy. And I put it on my hair when I rinsed my hair off. Remember, I put all the oil in my hair. I put it in and I left it so it's still on there. I'm going to leave it for a little while. But um, I just wanted to show you guys. I'm going to put you this way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So... I put this little red towel down here on the side so while I'm washing my brushes I'll just put it on top to dry okay and I purchased this little gadget here it's so cute you can hold it you see with your hand like this and then it comes with this soap it's a brush soap is some um, techniques real techniques and it deep cleanses it's a deep cleansing gel for the brush and it comes with this and then the here's my uh, beauty blenders um i'm hoping that this i have two more so if i have to throw this one out i will i'm gonna see if i can clean it first i'm hoping this is foundation because usually i always clean them and I don't leave them, um, I always put them like on a cloth on the side like I'm doing here. Like I'll show you, see this is the cloth. And what I do is, after I clean my brushes, I'll just lay them here like this to dry. Never put, um, I saw one girl in um, YouTube, I just want to face you downward. So you could see me when I'm cleaning it. There was this girl on YouTube and she cleaned her sponge, her beauty blender, and she put it inside a saran wrap, uh, like with the little plastic baggies. And you're not supposed to do that because it's like no air, it's like humidity in there, it's not drying. So it got like fungus in it. And I'm hoping that's not what this is. I'm hoping this is a uh, foundation because I always use this like on my face. But I haven't washed it. And you see how it's like breaking here. But I bought a new one. I like these. These are not like the real beauty blenders. These little tiny ones are like the real ones. But this is like just like for concealer under your eyes. They're so cute. It was three in a pack. You get um, a purple one, a uh, hot pink one and I think uh, another pink color was in there also so but I want to show you like this is how I do it like you just open the water you hold it like this you put water in it like, and then you put soap you see how the soap is coming out make sure it has water and then you take your brush this is my foundation brush so and you just turn it and turn it and turn it around and these little ridges that it has in here you can see the ridges I don't want to lose the water but it has ridges so when you're moving the brush back and forth the ridges are actually cleaning the brush and if you can see the water I'm gonna bring the phone up so you can see the color of this water soap water 
You see how, look how dirty my, my foundation brush was. Can you see it? Let's see. There's the water. See how all the foundation is coming out of it? So, this is, this soap works really good. I mean, it cleans the brushes really, really well. So again, you just move it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you see how it has the ridges? And it has the larger ridges for the larger brush and the smaller ridges for the smaller brushes. So you just keep moving it back and forth. This soap is excellent. It cleans the brushes so well. I had one that I loved that um, would clean the brushes. It was a spray and you would just spray the brush and then just rub it back and forth like on a paper towel and it would dry the brush instantly. Like you didn't have to wait for the brush to dry. And then what you do is you open the water You put more clean water in back inside the plate. You put clean water to rinse it, to rinse the brush. Because it took out a lot of dirt. So you have to just keep doing this process until the water runs clear. The water still is not clear. It's still coming out like foundation is coming off the brush. So you just keep doing it until the brush is totally clean. See that? Let's see one more time. Back and forth, see now the water is running clear. Just make sure that there's no more soap on it. Back and forth. Now you can just run your brush under the water and this soap leaves the brushes so clean, you know, because you want to take care of your brushes because, well, the brushes I have are not like cheap brushes, so I like to take care of them. So, see, it's nice and clean now. You don't see any foundation on it. Just rinse out the rest of the water. And always put them to dry on something. Never put them in a, like a bag or something that they can't get air. Let them air dry. And look how clean that came out. And then I set it down on my towel here. I'm going to set it down here. And then you get the next brush. This is my flower powder brush. And I'm going to put this time a little bit of soap because I put a lot the last time. You don't need to put that much. Again, you put water. And you just roll it around, roll it around. Roll it around. This one looked like it wasn't that dirty because it doesn't have a lot of. It see a lot. It, the powder is not coming out a lot because this brush is fairly new, so I haven't really used it a lot. But it's still showing. Like you see, it has a little bit of um, 
powder is coming out of it. So you just rub it, rub it back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then rinse it with the water, warm water. Always use warm water. Open it like this. Make sure you go in between. Guys, always try to clean the brushes if you don't do it every day. See, I don't use my brush because I don't use makeup every day. So that's why I don't clean them every day. But I do use them. So I try to clean it as much as possible. But if you guys wear makeup like every day and you use your makeup brushes every day, it's good to clean them at least every other day. Don't let the brushes go without being washed because it's no good. Like, that's going on your face. You want to make sure you have, like, clean stuff on your face. You don't want anything dirty. Like, the beauty blender, if I see that it's not coming out that spot, I'm just going to get rid of it. Because I have actually two new ones in my drawer upstairs. See, look how nice and clean that came out. No powder in it. Nice and clean. Then you put it here to, to clean. This one, with the angle, I... This one with the angle, I use it as a bronzer, for the bronzer. Because it's perfect for that, see? So this one is probably going to come out a lot of, like, a brown stuff because I use it a lot for um bronzer and I was right the water can you see the water how murky let me see if I can put the foam lower so you guys can see it better there so you see how brown the water is coming out but it's cleaning the brush really well then add a little more soap because that one I use a lot so there see how it's cleaning it out Remember, you always want to use clean things on your face. You don't want to keep reusing. You don't want to have breakouts on your skin. You know, your face is important. That's what people see. Your face. So you don't want to neglect it. Always put do the regimens I use on the skin with the cream always try to use the mask and then put night cream take care of the skin rinse that then you just ream up the remaining water these brushes will dry really fast. I'll just leave them sitting here. See, this is clean too. So I just lay it on the towel. And the next brush is this brush is like a stippling brush. And I use it like to uh uh, when I use a uh, foundation, not foundation, um, bronzer, I just like blend it around my skin, like so. Any harsh lines that I have, you just like rub it around, rub it around, and if you have any harsh lines, it'll blend it in. Also, if you put powder all over your face, this will sweep the powder off. You know, like when you want to set your foundation with powder. Use this stippling brush is the best. It'll just sweep off the powder. 
So this one I use a lot also. As you can see, the water is already turning murky. That means it has a lot of foundation and bronze on it. This one is one of my favorite brushes. I actually have two, one, another one this size, and I have two little baby ones, very little ones that you can use for under your eye. But look how dirty this water is. So imagine if you don't clean your brushes, you will just keep using, reusing like a dirty brush. It's no good, no good, no bueno. So I'm gonna put a little bit more because this one needed to be cleaned really good. And again, you just rub it around, 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 around. And it makes your brushes like new. If you want to take care of your brushes, this is the way to do it. Don't neglect your brushes because brushes are expensive. They're not cheap. And I'm going to show you how when I wish, when I first showed you the brush, the tip was beige. And you probably thought that it was a black and beige brush. But in reality, the tip is white. Look how white is coming out because all the foundation is coming out of it. I use this brush a lot. And this little thing that I bought, I bought it at CVS or Walgreens. I don't remember which one. I think it was Walgreens. It's the best because these ridges, it really gets in there in the brushes. And then once you're done, you rinse it with the water. And I'm going to show you how white the tip came out. Remember, go in there with the water. And you rinse, you just ream out the access. That was my mom calling me. So I had to hit ignore for right now because I can't pick her up. But I'll call her back. So look how white. See how white the brush came out? It was like a beige color. That was foundation, it's actually white like this. This one though, you see how the little hairs come off, so you have to be careful not to squeeze too hard. This one is a stippling brush, number 506. And look how clean, you put it down on your towel. And this last brush I use for powder. Or, yeah, I've been using it for powder. Um, you can use it as a, bl a blush brush also. It's from e.l.f. And it's a uh, blending brush, it says. The ultimate blending brush. So let's see how much dirt comes out of that one. I don't want to use up too much because I love this stuff and I don't want to run out of it even though I can just go buy more, but why waste if you don't have to use that much? A little bit goes a long way. This one, see not a lot of dirt is coming out of this one. It's not dirt, it's makeup. Not a lot of makeup is coming out of this one. But that's because, as I said, I take care of my brushes, so I'm always on top of them, like washing them, so I don't let them get too bad. I have a few more upstairs that I have to wash, but I'm not going to do that right now because I'm in the process of cooking dinner, and I cannot uh, do my brushes and neglect my food and burn my food, and then we don't have any dinner, so... I just wanted to just to show you basically a few brushes how I clean them so you guys can know and I wanted to show you this little thing I bought that is so cool so if you guys that wanted to go to the Walgreens to purchase it so you can clean your brushes you know where to get it and you see how well it works so it works so good and then you just rinse it off again
and the brushes come out like new. So clean. So again, you just ream the water out, the excess water. And look how clean that brush is. See now you can see the white because it has white. And then you just put it down to dry. Okay, now you, you just rinse your little rubber thing here to wash your brushes. And you just put it down here to dry. And then let's go into the start with the little beauty blender first. Put soap. And you rub it in there. Just keep rubbing it in. Already I can see a difference in this sponge. Already you can start to see, look, how nice and clean it's coming out. A little more so. It's the best thing to do to keep your things nice and clean, not having to keep spending money, buying, rebuying because they get damaged. Just take care of your stuff and it will last you for a little bit and you won't have to keep spending money. I wet it and it, it was so little and it's getting so big. Look how big it got. But it look, once it dries, It'll go back to its normal size. It's just absorbing the water. So it grew like, wow, like, it's like now twice its size. It was so cute and little and now it's twice its size. So remember to make sure you rinse it really well, all that soap off. And you put it to dry on the towel with the brushes. Again, don't put your beauty blenders in a plastic container. Never. You have to let it air dry because these things collect fungus. You know, if you don't if you don't let it air dry correctly, this is a sponge, remember. So if you put it in a plastic bag, no air is going in it. So but look at it. It's like double its size now. Look how big it is. It was so tiny. And look at it now. But watch when it dries, it'll go right back down to its size. So I'll just sit this down with the brushes. And now let's do this one. This one I think is a lost course. I'm gonna have to throw it out. But let's just see. Remember, look how it looks. I, I'm sure this is just foundation. If it comes out this color nice and clean then that means I can keep it and it's good to go but if that doesn't come out and look how much soap I put I put a lot of soap and it looks like it's coming out let's see I use this one a lot a lot. You know what? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna use this soap because you can also use like the uh, soap you use to take a bath. You can use like a new bar and use it only for your brushes. You can use that too. It doesn't have to be like a brush cleaner. It's just um, I saw this the. the the pink container with the ridges and I liked it so it came with the cleansing 
oh, wash for the soap, for the brushes. So I've been using it. But I used to always clean my brushes with that spray I was telling you. And, and I used to use uh, the new soap, like open it up and just use it just for the, my brushes. And it works perfectly. Look how, how clean it's coming out. Look at that. So soap that you take a bath with works perfectly guys to clean your beauty blenders and to clean your brushes you don't have to spend money and go all out buying brush cleaners so remember that and you just go in there good well i throw my sponge is damaged and it's not I know because I take care of my stuff. I knew that that spot was foundation because I use it a lot. It's coming out like brand new. Look at the color, brand new. You don't see no spots in it. I love this. this they have them in the Walmart, they have them in the CVS, and they have them in the uh, Walgreens. They're not like the real, real beauty blenders. But they're, they work just as well as the beauty blend that actually a lot of uh, makeup artists, they've been using these because I've been seeing them a lot on the YouTube. It came out brand new, brand new. I'm so glad I didn't throw it out. I was ready to throw it out because I panicked. But it came out brand, brand spanking new. But to rinse it off well, you don't want to leave no soap in there. And be gentle when you're squeezing it, because what happened to me, that's why right here it has this. I was being rough with it, and I was like going like this rough. And it rips it. Remember, this is like a foam. So you gotta be gentle with it. Just squeeze. You don't have to like go in there. Like, just squeeze, and you'll be good. Okay, use it. And you see how the water is running clear? That means there's no soap in there. And look how new the blender came out. Look at that. Remember the big stain that was here is out? Look at the front. It's all out. See? And then you just sit it here to dry. I'll show you where I have it so you guys can see. Let's see how I lay them down. So you just lay them on a towel like that. And you just leave them there. You can just leave them even overnight, just sitting there. Even tonight when you come check, the brushes are dry. And they're all clean so yeah that's how I clean my brushes guys there's you go so now my brushes are clean my beauty blender is clean um, all I have to do is I always hang this to dry in my shower here like I'll just hang it there and then I'll put my soap that I use. Actually, if you see the soap that you use, like when you take a shower, use it, it actually works better, I think, on the brushes. You saw how clean I left that beauty blender? My beauty blender looks brand, brand new. And then you just wipe down the area that you were using to clean. I always wipe it down. I don't like to see masses. I like my stuff nice and neat. And that's it. I can't believe how big this one got. It was a little baby. And look how clean all my brushes are. My beautiful brushes. So now I just set them there to dry. 
And that's it. And now I'm going to go check what my little one is doing because I hear racket in the kitchen. He's making, um, what is it that you're making? Slime. Slime. I told him not to make a mess, so he better not make a mess over here. And all oh, this is already slime that's already made. He does a really good job. He uses food coloring. And what he's doing is he puts it in these little bags. And my little entrepreneur man goes to school. And he takes orders from his friends in school. And he already has... Do you need more lotion or you good? He already has seven orders for slime. So I told him once he starts to get a lot of orders for them, I'll take them and I'll get him the containers and he could put them in the containers. Today we went and we bought him all this glue. Let me see. See all the glue here? And then he uses the borax. This is the borax here. He uses body wash, shaving cream, lotion, and food coloring. And then he charges his friends a dollar <laughs> and he makes money. He's so cute. Let me go upstairs, guys. I wanted to show you the blanket I bought. I've been wanting this blanket from Dollar General. But I didn't buy it because it was $18. But um, when I went today, they had it for 25% off. So the blanket came out to $12 or $13. So I just had to get it. This is it. See, it's like that material that's like um that new material that everybody's going crazy for. Like the pillow, like this, like that fluffy. And the inside of it is white and it's like, let me get, hold on, it's white and fluffy, this is the inside and then the outside feels, oh my god, like so good, it's, it's so soft, so soft and it's gray so I got it because I just had to, got, I had to have it. And that's it. And that's my little video for today. Um, let's see. Um, I'll think of another video to do later on after I finish cooking dinner. I'm going to go actually sit down and watch a movie now and relax. And then rinse this off my hair because I had it on already for a few hours. And that's it, guys. So I guess I'll talk to you later tonight. And I hope you guys are having a great day. And I love you. And that's it.